today in this video let's see in detail about theophyll lime which is one of the three naturally acquiring methylated xanthan alkaloids along with caffeine and theobromine they are consumed as beverages and theophylline has the most prominent bronchodilator action its pharmacological actions are theophylline is a cns stimulant primarily affect higher centers it has greater propensity to produce adverse effects like a restlessness panic insomnia and excitement when given at a higher doses and this theophylline is more toxic than caffeine theophylline dilates systemic blood vessels by direct action thus affecting the cardiovascular system also and in uh, all the smooth muscles are relaxed and theophylline is more potent bronchodilator than caffeine and slow but sustained bronchodilation is produced by theophylline in the smooth muscles and the skeletal muscles enhanced the uh, diaphragmatic contractility probably contributes to the beneficial effects of theophylline in dyspnea and master cells and inflammatory cells theophylline decreases the release of histamine and other mediators from master cells and other activated inflammatory cells this contributes to its therapeutic effect in bronchial asthma and in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and then the mechanism of action is for, there are three uh, steps there in its action the first one is the release of calcium from sarcoplasmic reticulum especially in the skeletal and cardiac muscles and the second one is the inhibition of phosphodiesterase pde which degrades the cyclic nucleotides intracellularly and the reaction occurs like this uh, first the atp or the gtp atp is adenosine triphosphate and gtp is guanosine triphosphate when adenyl cyclase or guanyl cyclase pass through it or catalyzes the reaction it gets converted to cyclic amp or cyclic gmp which is uh, adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate and then after um, the action of paspo diesterase it gets converted to 5 amp or 5 gmp but this step is inhibited by theophylline this is the second uh, mechanism of action done by theophylline then third one is the blockade of adenosine receptors adenosine acts as a local mediator in cns cvs and other organs it contracts smooth muscles especially bronchial and uh, dilates cerebral blood vessels and depresses cardiac pacemaker and inhibits gastric secretion methyl xanthine uh, produce the opposite effects uh, methyl xanthine is nothing but uh, these uh, uh, caffeine and theophylline uh, and these are the methyl xanthines the adverse effects of uh, theophylline theophylline has a narrow range uh, narrow margin of safety and adverse effects are primarily referable to gat that is gastrointestinal tract cns cvs through dyspepsia vomiting nervousness tremor delirium hypotension arrhythmias and convulsions of the brain when interactions of theophylline include agents which induce theophylline metabolism and lower its plasma level or smoking phenytoin drug then uh, drugs uh, which lower the plasma level of theophylline are phenytoin rifampicin and phenobarbitone and then uh, charcoal broiled meat meal also then drugs which inhibit theophylline metabolism and raise its plasma level are erythromycin then oral contraceptives allopurinol and then dose of theophylline should be redu if, uh, reduced if this happens then the dose of theophylline should be reduced to 2 by 3 and then the theophylline enhances the effects of furosemide and sympathomimetics digoxin warfarin and hypoglycemics